Hey people of the VC, it's Andy at Cloudy and Mulder. Uh, back very quickly after the last video uh, with a um, similar uh, fair really. This one was inspired by the last Cars Cars a Cars video. Um, I found it surprisingly hard to find album covers with cars on uh, when putting that one together but I did find quite a few with motorbikes on so I thought I would do a follow-up showing the album covers I've got with um, with bikes on. I um, I just just looking through vinyl this time I haven't had time to go through my uh, CDs at all so there's probably quite a few I have missed um, but a couple of honorary mentions because they're not uh, they're not albums. First up We've got Eddie on a bike. So this is uh, Infinite Dreams from the uh, the Maiden single from the Maiden England uh, release. I think it was originally just released as a as a video, uh, but it's since been um, I think the Maiden England uh, album is now on vinyl. One I still need to get. And the other single is uh, Wasp mean man with Chris Holmes then on not much of uh, a motorbike in this case in fact it's kind of a uh, a sad reflection on uh, Chris Holmes uh, current state where he's he's not quite all there um, but there we go still a, a great song now onto the albums these are in no particular order <coughs> just as I pull them off the shelf um, some are great. I think these, these uh, I was going to say guys, gals are uh, Swedish. This is uh, Thunder Mother with uh, Road Fever. Great uh, cartoon picture of a bike there. Uh, Thunder Mother were, they were brilliant for their first two albums, but they kind of fell apart uh, after that. And they have a new lineup. Um, it's just one of these, uh, one of the women is left and they've got a completely new lineup. And I've not heard any of their newer stuff yet. I will have to check it out, but I kind of, um, I'm kind of happy with the two albums I've got. And, you know, it, to me, if you change four members of your band, you're a different band. So um, I will check them out at some point, but uh, I've not got around to it yet. I should put that, let's put that aside. The Seven Sisters debut album. A little bit difficult to spot, but the uh, the guy as he's uh, he's sparking up his uh, his cigarette is uh, sitting on a motorbike there on the uh, the Silk Road. This is the Seven Sisters uh, self-titled album. Really, really good album. In fact, their second album was my favourite album of the last year. But that's a killer one too. Uh, a little bit more obscure on this one. So we've got uh, Kane Roberts' self-titled album. Well, this is from 1987. Great pictures here. Muscle metal. Uh, but on here, uh, obviously you're, you're you're drawn to the uh, the, the machine guitar gun uh, here, but uh, sitting in the street at the back, it looks like quite an armoured up. Uh, motorcycle there, maybe a Harley. I'm not into bikes and cars and things at all in terms of models, so uh, uh, someone could probably tell me what that is. But there we have one in the street. Uh, one of the more obvious ones. In fact, there's, there's probably three in here I'd call obvious picks, which you're probably thinking straight away as soon as I mentioned covers with motorbikes. This is one of them. So this is uh, Motley Crue, Girls, Girls, Girls. This is when Motley Crue lost me. Um, I loved their earlier stuff, but when Girls, Girls, Girls came out, I just thought, what a, uh, just, it just didn't click with me at all. I just thought it was uh, getting too, too up for themselves by then. Uh, but I, I only bought this because I picked it up for a pricey sum of one pound at a record fair about uh, three years ago. It's not in the best shape. Vinyl plays well, but uh, I figured I would give it a go, and it's okay, but it's... Uh, uh, I have still not checked out anything really of Motley Crue after this. Another obvious one, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell. Uh, this was actually my uh, sister's 
uh, album. This is from 77. It's probably not an original press. It's probably a repress from the 80s. Um, but she had this and I kind of borrowed it off her and never gave it back. I've since offered to give it to her back, but uh, she uh, would um, she shudders at the thought of ever owning this again. She's not a, a rock chick at all. Oh, so um, I've still got it, but it's not an album I'm particularly fond of either. I know it does get a lot of love, um, but uh, I think I probably overplayed it when I was a kid. A uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal band now called uh, Liquid Steel. I have a feeling these guys are Austrian. Uh, this is their album Midnight uh, Chaser. I think it's their second album. Um, it came uh, signed. I think I was one of the first uh, fifty or a hundred people to, to to buy the album when it uh, when it came out. This is a copy twenty one of three hundred. But there we have a very cool uh, demonic uh, motorcycle cover. But um, yeah, the the first album I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I think is probably better than this one, but it's still still a pretty good album. Still some good metal on there. Uh, here we have some speed metal. This is Intoxicated. Rock and Roll Hell Patrol. Now whereas the speed metal here is good, the uh, the lyrics are really goofy. They're kind of um, all, almost teen, teenage in their uh, tittering. Um, you know, things like uh, sex, drinks and Satan, metal porno slut, lock up your daughters, suffering for love, um, crush your local disco, uh, slutanic speed metal. Um, you know, you can you can kind of tell the quality of the songs you're going to get with this. As I say, the music's great, but the uh, the lyrics just they're a bit sucky. But uh, still, great cover. Battle Axe, actual new wave of British heavy metal here now with a uh, really badly drawn cover. I think it's a it's a great cover. It's certainly better than I could draw, but I believe this was the concept cover they came up with, and it wasn't supposed to uh, end up on the album. Um, but uh, God, I love it. I mean, it's it's. I, I just think it's a great cover. I mean, you can't you can't beat that, can you? Very cool. So Battle Axe, Burn This Town. What well, this is 1980. So Music for Nations, number eight. So oh God, we're looking at probably 83, 84 around that time. Uh, two more to go. Um, show some girls' school hit and run for the cars. So now we have some girls' school live and more for the bikes. Maybe a bit difficult to see. This is kind of this is a it's a it's an EP. But it's uh, it's got a huge label on it, as you can see from the label there. Uh, she's on a bike, and a little bit more of the, the bike on this side with the full band as well. This is a really nice uh, nice piece. Uh, really happy to to have it. Uh, very kindly sent to me by uh, Greg the Egg, Blackmore Rules, and uh, LEP. I always. I've always cherished since. Uh, it's girl school and it's live and it's uh, it's fantastic stuff. Uh, I think it's in, live in Japan. Uh, yeah, Japanese release. Cool. Uh, and last but not least, probably one of the most iconic motorcycle covers in heavy metal. Uh, we have the uh, the fantasy version from. Uh, of a motorbike with sawtooth wheels, Judas Priest, painkiller, 1990. Killer stuff. This is the uh, uh, Sony reissue. Cool. So there we have it. That's uh, my uh, second transport related uh, album covers video in two days. Who knows? There may be more. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.